I, I used to play in a famous soap opera. Okay. Good times, slechte tijden. Oh, you were in. I know it in German. Yeah, good times, bad times. Yeah. No, it was good times, slechte tijden. Yeah, genau. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so it's pretty well known in Germany, but in Holland it's also uh, a well known series, especially when I uh, played in it. It's over 10 years ago. Okay. So, um, but now, uh, the last uh, five years, I'm doing this um, series, uh, Flicker Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. It's actually a great series. It's shot in uh, Rotterdam. And it's also very popular, so uh, it, it was nice today because I only am here usually when I shoot, and yeah. uh, I've shot like uh, like a few months ago. So it was nice to be back in uh, Rotterdam. I really like the okay. place, and it's very charming. Also, I was uh, sitting here. This place is beautiful. The, uh, where where it's located? The, the museum. Yeah, the museum. Oh, it's great. It's uh, fantastic. Yeah. I was, uh, you know, most of the time if you if you see something called a pinball museum, it's usually just. Like a, a shitty, crappy hall yeah. somewhere outside of the city where they put two collections or three collections together. And you can go play pinball. It's nice. But here it's really like a museum. Yes. And the, uh, the facilities here are awesome. You, the, the floors and stuff. And it's, yes, I think fantastic. it's like a, an old um, warehouse type of building or something. But it, I, I keep saying it's it's the nicest museum I've ever been to. And it's I have fantastic. three kids and we go to all kinds of museums all over the place. And this is really a cool place. Yeah. I'm glad you say it because... Um, I love it. I thought this was the, the kind of thing every Dutch person sees when they go home. <laughs> no, it's really also very unique. And uh, I think Gerard uh, also told me this, one of the most unique pinball museums in the world. That definitely. Absolutely. I've been, I went to the one in Las Vegas when before it moved to the Strip. Yeah. And I've been to a few uh, all over the place. It's, it's just one of those things, even though I was never into pinball, yes. it's just one of those things. If I go somewhere and they yeah. have a pinball museum, I go there because the people are always cool yes. around pinball. Yeah? Oh, cool. Yeah. And uh, um, so when I got put on to Garrett and I came in here, I was like, whoa, this is something yeah. different. Yeah, so, yeah. And he's actually he's actually something different too, which yes. is cool. Yes. He's a very cool guy. <clears throat> okay. So how did you get here tonight? Well, Gerard invited me. Okay. I was uh, shooting actually, uh, I think uh, a few years ago, uh, in the center of uh, Rotterdam, and uh, I think we shot a scene in his uh, museum okay. at the time. And uh, we started talking. I, I was fascinated about these uh, all these pinball machines. Yeah. So um, I played a game, and um, we took a picture. And then uh, he called me up and said, "Would you like to come? Uh, it's the opening night for the." Uh, uh, pinball? Uh, no, it's not the opening for the pinball museum. But I think it's the world it's the, championship, uh, the or world pin, championship, the, the Dutch pinball open. Oh, Dutch yeah, pinball so open. The, uh, the, if I understand it correctly, yeah. the Dutch champion is going to be crowned here on Sunday. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, which is uh, and I mean, there's a lot of really really cool stories in and around all this uh, yeah. uh, pinball stuff too. There's a there's a guy. He's an autistic guy. He won it in 2016, the world championship. Oh yeah. And I mean, his whole story is really crazy. Oh so wow. It's one of the things that I'm really getting interested in because I think pinball, the stories behind pinball yes. need, to, need to get told. If you uh, just ask someone to explain to you the whole story about Magic Girl outside Magic Girl, they have a, a pinball machine here. Um, basically, it's a fifty thousand dollar pinball machine, but the entire story about it is um, this. This uh, pinball designer, when pinball died in 99, is when uh, yeah. Williams closed the door and then there was no more pinball manufacturing. It stopped. 99. Everything you see now has been since 99. And the, the, the chief designer, the, the main guy, uh, um, went off and did his own thing. And then he did like a crowdfunding thing where he said he's going to make the ultimate pinball machine. Uh, it wasn't a scam, but he wasn't a businessman and it all went to shit. Yeah? Uh, yeah, and he had 13 machines that never got finished and nobody got their machines everybody lost all their money and a, a group of Dutch guys bought all of it like uh, and have brought uh, Magic Girl back and you can play it here oh I will definitely play it but definitely I, and it's a, it's a really really cool story uh, about uh, just this this guy who knew what he was doing when it yes. came to pinball design but didn't know what he was doing when it came to business and uh, now he's in hiding and he won't show up to any of oh, these really? kind of it. so told, he's not here tonight <laughs> no I told I told uh, Gerard that we need to uh, we need to tell him he's welcome with open arms yeah, in yeah. the Netherlands yes, Nether exactly. Netherlands is a place where second yeah, starts yeah exactly okay so uh, um where do you where do you live? If I live in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's. Uh, I heard uh, today that there are a lot of still a lot of pinball machines in Amsterdam in coffee shops. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I don't go to coffee shops. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, I can imagine it being there because I think when you're high, I think it's great to play. Uh, yeah, definitely. Pinball. Well, that's that's one of the places that they parked them, and the Netherlands seems to be the place in Europe where it was played the most. Yeah? Okay. So I think in the uh, in the 80s and 90s, it was yeah. it was it was considerably bigger than in yes. Germany. Um, but uh, this is still where all the Germans yes. go and buy their uh, um, pinball machines. Uh, the, I bought a pinball machine a couple oh, weeks wow. ago in the Netherlands. I think it would be cool to have a pinball machine at your uh, house. It's, Absolutely. It's great for a, do you have p- Do you have the space for it? Well, Amsterdam, all the houses are very small, unfortunately. I know. Maybe in a couple of years. <laughs> but if you ever if you ever get the space for it, just talk to yeah. Gerard. He's got uh, yeah. he's got all the connections. But there's some really cool ones. There's uh. Um, the one that really got me interested that I realized, okay, well, shit, this is actually something that I'm, I want to get into is yes. the new Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I saw that um, one. The one up there from yeah. Jersey Jack. And then when I first saw the light shows and stuff in there, I was amazed. And the guy that sh- just showed his head in here a second ago, yeah. uh, um, John Paul, he's the guy who did all the animations for us. Oh, wow. Well. So, and uh, I think the chief designer is here, too. But there's... Um, uh, Stern is a company from the states. They're doing a lot of uh, uh, these like Stranger Things. Yes. And, uh, oh, nice. Uh, yes. Like, so they do all these like movie yeah. type of things, but uh, it's all with big screens, and uh, it's really, it's really, it's, it's become pretty cool. I would go for a small, uh, like like an old uh, pinball machine. Yeah. I think they're very cool. Did you ever like play the seventy? Yeah, I just played it here actually. Uh, the, so like the really old ones from the seventies. Yeah, like seventies, eight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's one I would like to have in my house. Okay. Yeah. One the, day. <clears throat> I can, yeah. There's some there's some really cool ones from back then. The the one that I really would want, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford it, is uh, um, Indiana Jones. Oh yes, I love Indiana uh, Jones. Yeah. I saw that one. The Indiana that's Jones. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah that's true. a really cool uh, machine, and it's the one that I like. I used to skip school and go. Exactly. Play. I used to play on that one <laughs> yeah. when I was younger. Yeah, it's it was that was the one that really got me. Yeah, at a certain age, then. you know, you love Indiana Jones, you love James Bond, you yeah. love the pinball machines. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, a pinball machines definitely something worth having. But even these things, like that's called a play field. Yeah. Um, even just having like one of these on your wall, and you they've got them so that they. Uh, I saw a guy. He actually, this is how crazy these pinball uh, people are. Like he took the play field and then he took a slow motion video of a working machine and then programmed the lights one by one so that it would be on his wall like it is in the machine. Oh, cool. And I think it probably took him six months to program. (laughs) <laughs> and, oh yeah, yeah. But you can get some really cool uh, like artwork uh, from, nice. from pinball. If you can't get a whole pinball machine in your apartment, yeah, it has maybe something can... fascinating. Don't you think? Yeah. Well, so what do you think it is? That's so fast. Well, we found some f- so fascinated about it. I think it's uh, there's a there's a lot of artwork that goes into it. There's yeah. also a lot of like technical uh, um, like s- fine yeah. things that are that go with it. It's a uh, it's a game that has a little bit of chance, but also a lot of skill that goes yeah, along yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, true. Eh? Anybody can play it. Yeah, uh, one of the things that I like about it is it really is it uh, it transcends all like genders and yeah. uh, interests and things like that. You can actually uh, have a whole group of diverse people in a room and everybody's going to play pinball. Yeah. I came to uh, the museum one time when it was running and I was literally standing next to a guy with Down syndrome and he he was yeah. like kicking my ass. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was cool. Like, yeah, so I was like, okay, this I like this. This is yeah, what, yeah, this what I like about it. And everybody I've ever met that has anything to do with this is just yeah. I genuine. think. All the mechanical nice. thing I yeah. like that about it definitely and it has something uh, yeah it, it, it somehow it brings you back to your youth yeah. um, it has something yeah uh, it, it triggers your fantasy in a way absolutely and the I, I don't know it's it's it, the the whole gameplay and the rules and everything that go along with it it's it's intricate yeah. and uh, uh, immediate you know yeah. you look at it and you see I know what this thing does but it doesn't mean you know how to do it and yeah it's pretty fascinating but uh, how long are you going to stay tonight I don't know yet. Until uh, the until end? Until the end. No, Are you here I, by probably yourself? not. Yeah, I'm by myself. Okay. Well, it's really cool that you come. I. I how are you? Are you are, how are you doing? Are I'm you doing. Fun? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's, it's Friday night. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday night. And <laughs> night you're at still the, young. The pinball museum. Exactly. Yeah, I have it's a, a great uh, start. One of my best friends is the uh, concierge in Amsterdam at the Waldorf Astoria. Oh yes. Yeah. And nice. There's only three of them, and uh, so he knows everything about Amsterdam. So every yeah. time I'm there, it's like uh, I, I've been into so many. Uh, what is his name? 
Uh, um, his name is Frank. Frank. Yeah, Frank. Um, so if I go there, ask for Frank? Yeah, absolutely. Ask for Frank and tell him Scott sent you. Yeah, yeah okay, sure. good. Uh, and he loves pinball, Frank? Uh, he likes he likes anything that is competitive in nature. Yeah. He's one of those people, he's better at me than everything, but I forgive him for it, you know? So uh, well, he has kids, and I have kids, and we all meet at the Dutch yeah. Coast uh, every year. His wife studied with my wife. But, but the cool thing about Frank is he knows, like, all these places in Amsterdam. So every time... I go to Amsterdam. I'm like, oh, can you hook me up with some, some like the password to the speakeasy or something? And uh, I've been to a few places. You oh yeah, know, yeah. It's, it's into a. I went into this really crappy kind of like Chinese restaurant, and you have to go upstairs towards the bathroom, and then you push a button at the win- at the uh, at a mirror. It's like a mirror where. where most people just like go there and yeah coming out of the bathroom they fix the hair and if you push a button like the mirror slides open and then there's a dude in like 50s gear no and he makes cocktails and stuff. <laughs> do you want me to hook you up yeah with yeah no, i love that all right i'll I, i'll give you frank's number yeah. i'll tell him who i'm talking to i'm gonna yeah. take a picture of yeah he'll yeah hook you up anytime perfect. anytime for sure Great. Well, you see, that's how we're gonna. Yeah, end exactly. <laughs> you know what? But uh, if you if you end up going to some speakeasies, then I want some pictures of you out of out course. and about in Amsterdam. But there's some really really cool stuff. Uh, the one thing I think you probably know about that is the Butcher Social Club. Yeah, yeah uh, I know uh, that Where one. you go through the the, um, the, 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 the meat. Road. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've been yeah, there so times. that was a that that was like one. It was okay. It was a club kind of yeah. thing. Uh, but uh, the the other bars and stuff, they're kind of spot. I don't know if they still have them. This is a couple years ago, so we'll, well see. Let's but check it out. I'm to check it out for you. He's always got the in on any of that. Oh stuff. yeah, because yeah, if you're, he used to be at the W. Yeah, yeah, and that was already a nice hotel, and they already yeah, had a whole different story. Cool yeah, amazing. And now now it's like, uh, um, yeah, they really want people's guests coming in there. So uh, I'll definitely. That's nice that you were here. Cheers, man. All right. Well, it was good talking to yes, you. Yes, likewise. And uh, um, uh, let's see where the night takes yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. At least we didn't get locked in. Yeah, thanks. All right, All man. Right, talk to you soon. Night. Bye.